Hello everybody and welcome to some Dwarf Fortress. Oh, this has been a long time coming. This has been a very long time coming and I am not an insignificant amount of intimidated uh, because I've played Dwarf Fortress before and I so I should say I tried to play Dwarf Fortress before and it's quite difficult also for some reason uh, the game maybe because it's brand new and some things just are like that um, the game refuses to be uh, noticed by my streaming software so we're on a um, display capture which is a bit funky not a big fan of display capture but hopefully you guys will be able to see what it is I'm looking at hopefully game please show all right can you see it now okay okay I believe you can now see it okay perfect uh, yeah it's it's actually quite a uh, struggle to get this um, game seen by my streaming software. It's it's not not easy, okay? But anyway, let's get into this. And I know there's a bunch of fucking around there. I'm sorry. Um, yeah, Dwarf Fortress is finally out. It's great. Um, I've not played it yet. Um, so the last time I played Dwarf Fortress was um, probably something like 2017. So it's, good, it's been a good half decade, uh, but I'm very happy to see it's finally out on Steam, and so we're going to give it a try. Um, as soon as I bought it, I did have somebody um, message me on Steam saying, oh, it's great that you're finally trying it and all this. Um, and then he said that uh, one of the, the only thing he doesn't like is that it's very difficult to see um, when you are being, like, when a goblin invasion is coming or something, uh, as the alert system is not exactly where it should be. Uh, so I just had a look on the workshop, and there's a mod here called Audible Alerts, um, which I've downloaded, uh, because that makes sense to me. I'm also using see-through smoothing designations and reduced Zed fog. So, that, that's it. So let's, uh, let's create a new world. Oh god, there's lots of stuff. Prepare your guide. Uh, prepare to guide your stout charges to fortune in a world fraught with many perils. You begin by creating your world and watching the region's history unfold. Once this process is complete, you can prepare a group and send them out to seek wealth deep in the mountains. As you dig deeper and more citizens take up residence in your outpost, your doings will attract attention, both wanted and unwanted. Deal with challenges as they arise, and you might one day find that your humble settlement has grown to become a mountain home, the center of your civilization. It sounds delightful. Um, let's see, is the music maybe a little bit too loud, actually? I think it might be. Usually I end up putting music to about 25% uh, in basically every game, and it works out well enough. So, uh, world size medium, sure. History of 100 years, sure. Number of probably all of this is fine. Uh, number of beasts, natural savagery, mineral occurrence everywhere. Okay then, we could also go detailed mode, and yep, we're gonna go with uh, what we've got here. Let's create a world. Let's uh, let's see what we come up with. I have heard of people using Dwarf Fortress created worlds to um, create D and D groups in or D, &D maps uh which i find really quite fun i like that idea oh look at that the world actually changes as the as the time goes on you can see different civilizations popping up all along the rivers oh this is beautiful this is beautiful this is fantastic can i move around at the same time no okay oh god okay so it's wise to move around. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Oh, and we can do middle mouse click and drag. Let's go. I mean, keep the world and return to main menu if we wanted. Okay, so. An abridged chronicle of 57,000 events that have been generated. God. He exists. Okay. 
Can I, can I like hover over these to see what they are? Maybe not. Um, he routed the cloister of iron of the coincidental tortures of soaking and destroyed died quake. In 94, the human Utag temple castle constructed sprayed fountains for the faith of dinner. Human Uthred's great mouse became a lawgiver of the earth and nations. Strange fortress created squash scourges by the goblin Boza Lonely Scourge. In 99, the dwarf Iteb Rost Palace became the king of the palace of cloistering. Okay. Um, I suppose we can, like... I'd like to be able to zoom in. Um, see what this this castle here is. Uh, Rainadet Nightbank Tomb. The things like... Uh, Dwarven Fortress there. Obviously, the mountains are probably all the Dwarven Fortresses, so we probably want to stick somewhere around the mountains. Although, there's mountains here as well. You can pretty much go anywhere. Um, if I play now, it's going to do more things. Yeah, so it's been a long time since I've played Dwarf Fortress, so if any of you have um, tips and tricks, I'm, you know what, I'm comfortable with backseat gaming. Definitely. Um... So, Fortress Mode, Adventure Mode is coming soon, or Legends. I think Legends is just looking back at the world that we've just generated. Um, so, if y'all wanted to play a DD and d game in this world, for example, probably Legends. Uh, but, yeah, obviously, we're going to go Fortress Mode. Uh, and it's passing a few weeks to get things ready. All right. Uh, quick start and short tutorial. Would you like uh, your fortress located in a forested, mineral-rich region of this world where you can play through a short tutorial? Non-interactive help will be available, whatever you decide. Uh, yes, of course. I will start the tutorial. And it is actually wanting me to be here. Okay, that's pretty close to the mountains that I was just talking about. Alright. You have arrived. The world is not going, is it? It's paused. Where can I see if it's paused or not? It is paused. Okay, I can see in that top. You've arrived. After a journey from the mountain homes into the forbidding wilderness beyond, your harsh trek has finally ended. Your party of seven is to make an outpost for the glory of all Shedditon. I guess that's our um, our home, I guess. Um, there are almost no supplies left, but with stout labour comes sustenance, whether by bolt, plough, or hook, provide for your dwarves. You're expecting a supply caravan just before winter entombs me. May I don't know about you, but like looking around here, buddy, uh, it looks like winter's already here. Just, just saying. Um, but it's spring now. Okay, so the snow's about to melt. Enough time to delve, secure lodgings, um, ere the wolves get hungry. A new chapter of dwarven history begins here at this place. Engigastish flex kudgel. Strike the earth. Is Flex Cudgel my my name? My my civilization's name? Maybe. Alright. Uh, view is focused on one elevation at a time. To move the camera around, press WASD or hold the middle mouse button and drag the view. Let's go. Oh, middle mouse click and drag. Because this, this is I feel, is a bit too extreme. Whereas middle mouse click and drag is just... Perfect. I just love that. Change the elevation E or C or roll the mouse wheel. Nice. Wait, am I going... Am I going up? And then I'm going... Oh, I, you know what? I'm... Do I like that? I feel like I should be... I, I might want to invert this. Like, I want to scroll... It's weird, but I want to scroll up to go into the ground, right? I don't know. That I don't know. It feels weird. But yeah, I um, I have reduced fog so I can still see what's under. Um, that was one of the mods that I had on. When your view is in the air above the other tiles, you can see them below, but you only interact with objects in your current elevation. The view will be dark underground until you begin mining. You can move the camera to the surface... Uh, with the surface button highlighted, the F1 hockey will recenter on your wagon. What is highlighted right now? I, I see no highlighted button. What has been. Is it that? Yes, okay. 
That's F1. You can zoom in and out of the player using fucking brackets. Fucking brackets? I like control scroll. Control scroll is good though. It's time to get to work. Let's start by digging a stairwell into the ground. There may be plenty of hillside to dig into, but you want to seek wealth below the surface. Mining tasks are designated on the play area. Begin by clicking the highlighted mining button. Um, there's several ways to mine. Stairwell selected. Start at, the, at one. Start at one elevation or complete at the next. Click the surface, move the camera down one level, and click the underground. Reversing the order also works. Right. Click on the surface. I right, need to click on this first, right? Or maybe not. Then move the camera down one level and click on the underground. Well, from what I've seen, a lot of people tend to make their um, stairways a 3x3. Three three. So should I do that as well? Should I, should I, should I be normie and do that? Okay, alright, interesting. Weird way of doing it. Um, the name of this outpost, or future forces, is Ingigastesh, which is dwarven for flax cudgel. Why are these dwarves cudgeling their flax? Isn't that how you... Well, I guess that's like... Threshing, isn't it? Cudgel, cudgeling and threshing are basically the same thing, so that makes sense to do that for flax. Yeah. We'll unpause the game and let the miner finish the task. Press space to unpause or even use the highlighted controls at the top. The screen should unpause regularly starting out. I should pause regularly, sorry. Alright guys, go mine. Let's go. Let's make a safe place to work. Select regular mining mode. To the left of the stair mining mode. Dig a rectangle underground, big enough for a large stockpile and some workshops. Consider that most workshops are 3x3 three three squares. Mining through the stone layers further down may take longer, but it leaves boulders which are an essential building material. Later you can consider making a meeting area from the zones menu, otherwise your citizens will continue to gather by the wagon outside. I feel like I should have gone deeper than just the one layer, right? Uh, like, I should have gone like a few layers down. Lambert, you think the controls are fucking you up? I played the original where, con uh, where different controls, also no mouse at all, and the new control layout is messing, even returning players like Krug Smash. I can imagine, if you're used to one way, I can imagine it being an absolute nightmare to get used to the, the new stuff. Alright, we're, we're just going to dig to there. Um... Do I want to leave, like, two layers between just to prevent... I don't know. Is cave-ins a thing? Should I be worrying about cave-ins? Um, so I want... I need 20 rooms. So I want stockpile. Uh, I get. I guess this can be a stockpile, right? Is that is that a good size stockpile? I have no idea. Just make sure we've got like roads leading out. That's not what I wanted to do. Uh, and then we'll do that. Yeah, that's like some roads leading out. Stockpile and uh, what else we want? Workshops. How many workshops? No, no, no idea. There's a couple of three by threes. Actually, if we. Can I, how, what is the best way to cancel? How do you cancel? X. Nope. Uh, 
How do I cancel a... Oh, that rubber, maybe. Remove mining, wood cutting, plant gathering, and smoothing orders. Yeah, that's what I want. No! It won't let me! Oh, filth. Very irritating, actually. I'm sure it's fine. Stockpile needs to be way larger. Most barrels are stuff plus stone slabs take up a little. Oh, really? Okay, then. Like, that's kind of, that kind of... How big are we talking here? How big are we talking here? It's basically, it's not... I feel like it's probably not going to let me, like, continue on until this, this task is done. So we need to work on that. Controls are a nightmare in the original. They're just a, a different type of nightmare now. Yeah, I imagine it's just a case of, like, if you got used to nightmare controls, like, it just changing isn't, like... Doesn't mean the new control scheme is a nightmare too. It just means you're, you you got used to the nightmare and that's all you got left now. So who's this doing my mining? No, I want to have a look at you. Can I not? Ooh. Oh, okay. Apparently, each individual uh, mind block is a room. Disagree, but you know whatever. Um, the supplies on the wagon are in danger of being carried off by wild creatures. It's time to build a stockpile underground to unload them. Stockpiles are crucial to moving supplies around your fortress where they are needed. Stockpiles are placed with the stockpile button highlighted. Click it now. Well, mate, I'm I'm gonna straight up gonna not gonna lie to you. I need uh, this to be mined out first, so that my people can actually uh, get in and mine this out. If you'd let me like remove the mining, uh, then I could like. Be a little bit more efficient, not gonna lie, but you know, you, whatever. Ooh, what's this? We we have a thing here. What is this? How can I tell? There's a thing. There's a there's a different type of stone. I wish to mine it. Oh, did it just say room, not a room? Fair enough. Are like the rest of my dwarves just not miners, or do I not have like, I don't have any um. Any tool? I, mean, I can see a pickaxe right there. I'm, I'm not. I'm not gonna lie. I feel like more people could be mining right now. Uh, I'm just gonna temporarily make a stockpile right here so they can bring my crap down. You know, so they can do something. Um, click the add button. Click the two corners of a rectangle somewhere safe to build your pile. Stockpiles can be placed both on the surface and underground. Once pilots click uh, create, click accept and select the all option. Where was the oh there's the accept and there's the all option. If unpaused, your workers should start unloading the wagon into the stockpile. Later you want to customize your stockpiles by clicking on them, pressing the custom button to forbid certain categories, like refuse for example. The separate refuse stockpile is a good idea to keep your fortress clean. If the stockpiles menu is still open, you can close it now and by right clicking. Right clicking all of you to close most menus as well as escape. Alright. Uh, yeah, you're right. Uh, there is a lot of stuff left there. You know what? I'm going to go into the options a second because keybinds. Uh, my my scroll needs to be the way. Zoom in. Move. No, no, no. Like it's. It is this, but I don't know what exactly to do. This is... Hmm. I don't know. I'm going to leave it. I'm going to leave it. I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, 
Uh, name the slave, slave sure, flex, cudgel, tutorial. All right. <clears throat> the most optimal bedroom is a three by three, so you can have bed drawers in there and family heirlooms. All right, cool. Good to know. Yo, we have stuff. Um, rough picture jaspers. All right, then. Where'd my tutorial go? I need it back. I've struck native platinum and hematite and microcline and jasper. Snowstorms come and then cleared. Where's my tutorial buttons gone? This is Asmal Lushunovorod. Okay. And that's hematite. Here is my microcline. I don't know what any of these uh, are for yet, but you know, we'll find out eventually. Uh, I'm gonna just. I don't want to select an existing stockpile, I want to create a new one. Accept, and that's for all. So they'll start bringing stuff in here as well. How do I get my tutorial stuff back up? Guys, I'm lost, I need my tutorial. I click the X button in the tutorial. Yeah, you know, that was a, that was a mistake. Interactive tutorial. Haha. -ha. I think we're on wood cutting. Hang on. We finished stockpiles. Oh no, we didn't. Here we go. Uh, supplies in the wagon are in the danger of being carried away. Okay, we, we actually did that. Stockpiles are placed with the stockpiles button highlighted. Yeah, and then we created it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Place stockpile. It's right here. Can I like expand it that way? No way, no I can't. I'm just gonna make that an all stockpile as well, and then okay. And then close that. Can I delete this stockpile? Stockpile three needs deleting. Aha! Shite. Okay, we'll create a new one. Accept all. There we go. Bring bring the shit down. Maybe this next tutorial only comes up once the um, all of the crap from upstairs is is brought down potentially, because there's still I don't know there's, there's quite a lot of crap in here. But I would like to know how to expand the stockpile. Stockpile number two, view stockpile. Repaint the stockpile. Hey, there we go. Yo. We fortressing. Let's go. I wouldn't mind more more mining people. Hang on a moment. Labor menu. Miners. Work details are one way you can control which workers do which tasks, and they're only way to assign certain tasks like mining, woodcutting, hunting, and fishing. Generally, almost every task will be available for every citizen. We can both restrict uh, both citizens and tasks. Citizens are restricted by using their specialization button. Tasks are restricted by setting their work detail to only selected to do this. If a task does not have a default work detail, you can create custom work detail. Once you assign citizens to the task, you can set them to only select to do this if you want to restrict it. Okay. Only selected will do this. Nah, fam. Anybody can mine. We are dwarves. <clears throat> 
you're my only woodcutter, you're my only fisher. You know, probably eventually you might you might be my only miner, but like right now right now we just want we just want mining to happen. Now no mining is happening. So I feel like I fucked up. Everybody everybody does this. Everybody Miners, please, please let everybody do this. I can't select it for some reason. Everybody does this. Nobody does this. I can't, I can't click that. Okay, I guess you're my only miner. Hurry up and mine then. Um, let's have a look at wood cutting. With the shelter ready underground, it's time to build. First, you need building materials like wood or boulders. Before you start chopping down trees, you may want to create a dedicated wood stockpile. Haulers will also drop wood in your all stockpile unless you turn it off in the custom stockpile menu. When you're ready, open the wood cutting menu and designate your trunk of a tree on the surface. Make sure your woodcutter can walk to the designated location. Okie dokie, right. Uh, let's pop a pause in. This, I'm going to repaint to be all of that. Um, except, it's not allowed to have wood. I, I, need, I want to be able to turn it off. It's not allowed... Do I have to basically click everything but the wood then? Custom. All but not wood. Let me let me turn off the wood. Custom. You go away a second. No wood, that might work for no wood, maybe? Maybe that's gonna work? And then I'm gonna set this one to only wood. And then I'm gonna see what happens. Is wood going to be drawn away from here? Anyway, let's go to the surface. Uh, we're going to woodcut tree. Just those two trees for now. So we should see Rimtar Keskalath, Keskalaloth um, go and mine the wood. Or chop the wood. Where Where is he? Where is my dwarfy fella, Rimtar, buddy? Oh, we're on woodcutters. Okay. Oh, so I can choose other people to mine. I can just click those buttons. That makes sense. Uh, you know what? Uh, Zon can help and so can cool it. I need to click the all or none buttons on the top of that menu. I assume you're still talking about the stockpiles. You'd think, though, you'd be able to... Is it this? Okay. Alright, so everything, wood, non-wood. That works. I wish I could drag this shit away. That would be quite nice. And then this is just wood. Hey, there he is. Your man. Your actual man. Let's go. Rimtar Keskoloth. Why is my music stopped? The music is phenomenal in this game. Please re resume musicing. 
I wish to have music resume. Audio, music. Please, I want the music back. I don't see any buttons about resume music. Actually, let's have a let's have a gander at our little world here. Got a river running all the way through. Bit of a mountain going on. Couple of uh, ponds. Pretty big map, but I don't feel like much of it's going to get used. All right, so we have the wood. I feel like it's not being hauled. So, oh, because the the haulage is full. Okay. Um, I mean, feel free to mine more than I guess. Something like that. Just want to make some uh, areas for people to start working. And this can be like places for people to start sleeping potentially. Uh, actually. Confused. Why am I getting confused? Uh, get rid of that. Get rid of that. 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 There we go. Nice, nice bit of sleeping area there. Um, mm -mm -mm. Yesterday I got Dwarf Fortress, my tutorial fortress was horrible, for which ten levels down had only black sand and chalk, which meant I didn't understand how to make stone walls. Ooh, F. Uh, hello, Harry. Uh, there's a fortress ruining setting you need to fix before you start cooking anything. Uh, feel free to let me know about that. Uh, I'm going to click OK on that. Yeah, OK. Building. Now you have the build materials, time to start building. Workshops are one of the many buildings you can place with highlighted build button. Click it now. Uh, well, I need mining to continue first. Oh, snap, I have m multiple miners now. That's great. It's great stuff. Massive progress is being had. Uh, I'm actually going to um, click a new stockpile here. Accept, and that is going to be for wood only. Um, wood stockpile three, excuse me, that's number two only. But whatever. Uh, and then uh, this stockpile here has an extra doodad. Cool. It's a weird feeling to see actual sprites in the game instead of text. Oh, are you one of those ASCII players? That's weird. I, I never understood you people. I mean, it's cool that you get what you want, but like, it, you're kind of weird, I'm not going to lie. I'm not really sure how I want to go about, like, placing these kinds of buildings and such. Yeah, open the building mode. 
Uh, most workshops require building materials such as wood or boulders. If you have some wood stockpiled, you'll be able to place a carpenter's workshop. Um, okay, we'll place the uh, workshops. Carpenter's workshop. Do I want to just place it anywhere? Can I rotate it? Does it matter? I think the game's trying to tell me that it doesn't really matter. Uh, let's use shale. Yo. And we want a click workshop. No idea what a click workshop is. Click. Oh, I need to I need to click the work I need to click the Yeah, okay. Yeah, it's, it's cool, it's cool, it's cool, it's cool. I understood exactly what I needed to do. Your in your industrious citizens will perform any task added to the workshop. Most objects that are placed, like doors and furniture, must first be built in a workshop. Furniture created at the carpenter's workshop usually takes one wood to build. Add a task and make a bed, chop down more trees if necessary, unpause and wait for the bed to be completed. So I need to make a bed. Boom. Can I... Oh, that's set to repeat indefinitely. No. Can I say how many beds I want? Details to... Uh, I can choose whatever... W yeah, okay, no. I can make two beds. Be nice if I could be like, uh, make uh, 12 beds, or like, I don't know... I've got, what, seven people? Can I make seven beds? Make seven beds. It's a bit weird. Work orders need a manager. Oh, okay. So some guy... Oh, who's this? I Rimtar, let's go. Me woodworker, man. He's going to make a bed. Beautiful. And this is going to be the first bedroom as well. So, as soon as this bed is made, which is now. Now that you have a bed, you can place it in the fortress. Use the build menu to place it in a room underground, just like the workshop. Dig a new room first if you like. Beds are found in the furniture category. Unlike workshop, beds must be placed underground. So, furniture, bed, bed me up, baby. So, is there any specific, like, layout of these 3x3 three three rooms that I should be doing? Like, does the is there anything that's like a 2x2 two two that I need to worry about? Or is just placing it fucking anywhere is good? Should I put it in the middle or, or something? Some blocks and workshops are impassable, so it doesn't matter a bit. Okay. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put it in the corner... A fucking pine bed seems fine. Yo, place in the bed. With a bed placed, your workers will have somewhere to sleep. Later, you can create a room with a door and use the zones menu to assign an official bedroom for each resident. Nice. Just played my first hour of the new game. Got wrecked by not knowing giant badges can now operate doors. That does seem like something that I would not have initially imagined would be a thing. So I, I don't blame you for dying there. So we've got a couple of beds. What are these? These? Is there any like details about it? Superior quality cherry wood bed. Let's go. All right. All right. What about this one? We got a finely crafted pine bed. Fantastic. So I'm going to let them all do some digging for a little while. Is there any way to... Oh, wait, I know there was a thing. I remember there being... I remember reading about a way that you could stack these boulders on top of one another. Um... 
Oh, what did they call it? They, they had a funky name. I can't remember what the funky name was. Hey, they're sleeping. Cool. Someone bed again. Nice. And then someone bed again. I used to like put my workshops in five by five rooms with a stair in the corner leading to ingredient stockpiles one layer above. That's a cool idea. Yo, and I can still actually do that. Because I have I have this layer free. So I could I could build stairs here into big stockpile area. That could work. Finally crafted pine bed. Let's fucking go. Alright, I actually need to... Oh, shit. What? Does that mean I can't mine through here? Or maybe I can. Oh, I can. Okay. But why is this not mining now? Oh, snap. I'm under the water. It's not an aquifer. It's just it's just the the river. Hmm. We're just gonna keep going in this direction. Oh fuck! There's water in that direction too. Okay. Okay. Hmm. These in bedrooms down here now. Might want to dig a little deeper. Yeah. God, I really want to start again now. Honestly, <laughs> I, I'm a I'm a sucker for that kind of thing. I fuck up one thing. I'm like, ah, oh, no, we've got to start again. I'm really tempted. I'm really tempted now that I know what I'm doing. Or I, I know a little bit of what I'm doing. I'm really tired. Fuck it, I am. I'm fucking... I'm, I'm going to. I'm, I abandoned the fortress to ruin. Okay. It's fine. Saves the timeline. Sure, I'm going to do it again. Fuck it. Fuck it. I have to. It, it, it's going to mess with me so much. That one can also trigger if there is a fluid above. We're just, we're just gonna... New game, existing world. Yeah, there we go. That one. And then we get the tutorial again, right? That That's the thing that I can do is get new tutorial, please. re re, -tut re me. Fortress. Yep, yeah, advance some days. That's fine, that's fine. Yay, let's go! Yo, we're not far away! <laughs> We could probably go visit it. Dwarven outposts. Let's go. Strike the earth. This time, we're puzzle posts. Luz Limiteb. Nice. Plus, we're starting next to the fucking mountains. Like, that's cool. I'm gonna have a look. Excuse me. I'm gonna have a look around. Yeah, the, the water is less of an issue this time. We do have a river. That's cool. How big is this mountain? Yo, it's actually... Actually fairly cracked. Yo! That's dope! Nice! Anyway, go back there. I'm gonna zoom back in. I think like here is good. So we want to mine. I'm I'm vaguely interested in digging into the mountain. Actually, I'm I'm very much interested in digging into the mountain. Nah, fam, we're just digging in that mountain, aren't we? We're just gonna dig into the mountain. That seems like a really 
freaking cool idea. No, it wants me to make stairs. Just, just go make a stair over here. Yo, aquifers? Oh wait, no, they're not aquifers. They're just, they're just water. Okay. All right. You just go build that stair, and then I'm gonna do what I want. <laughs> good, good job. Now I, now it's my turn. Now I get to mine. Go dig into the mountain. Let's go. This is gonna be a proper, proper one. Entrance going all the way down there. Nah, fuck you. I'm busy. I'm busy making dwarf fortress. No, we don't need to go any further. Okay. So, what we want is a storage room. A fat storage room. Like a f f big, fat fucking storage room. Uh, and an entrance into it right there. And fuck it right there as well. Oh, right, and I can also go into my labor. Mate, fuck off, I'm busy. I'm busy doing things. Go away. Let me look at my labor! No! He wants me to make a stockpile. Fine. Quick stockpile for everything. Let's go. Oh, we're, we're speed running this. We're fucking speed running it. Let's go. Can I look at my labor now? Ah, oh, damn it. Let me apportion labor. Yeah, this this one, customize. Where's refuse? Refuse. I refuse to have refuse in here. And then wood, none wood. Cool. Uh, we're going to go and chop down. Uh, you know, like like a few trees. Can I apportion labor yet? Damn it. Actually, I feel like the game probably didn't want me to apportion labor either. Um, and it only let me because I clicked the X button on the tutorial. I feel like that's a distinct possibility. What kind of shitty stone are we mining through here? Clay. Ugh. Weak. Uh, let's just create a quick old stockpile right there for wood. Now it wants me to open the building menu. I will mine first, thank you. Um... Uh, if we have, like, building, uh, like, workshops, 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 and then a road going to them, and stairs behind them, because I, I do like that stair idea, that one is, that's inspired. Clay is great for pottery industry, That that's a fair point, actually, it seems like a pretty fair point. Oh, let me apportion labor. Um, I am yeah. I am going to redefine this area to be that. Now you have shit to do. Come on, let's go. Settings, audio, it's actually way too low now. Can't hear shit. What else have we got here? Copper, let's go. And cinnabar, and microcline, and just a, a whole bunch of clay, you know? Can I turn off the tutorial? Yeah, I can. 
Um, you can just press the X, and I think that lets you do shit again. You can reopen the tutorial with, um... Ah, oh, there was a button. There was a button. Uh, I think it's the question mark, actually. There's quite a lot of copper, actually. Uh, we are going to... Oh, I can't say to stop mining shit either. Like, he's just mining everything. Uh, but we will expand the stockpile again. We're going to create a carpenter's workshop right there. We're going to make it out of... I don't know. Probably wood. Wood's probably a good idea to make it out of. So, baby wood logs there. Uh, lovely. Add new task. Make a bed. What have we got here? Or piment. I need to make a wood stockpile. So how about I build a ladder here going down to here. And then here, going down to here. I like that idea. That's a that's an inspired idea. Game let me click through the UI only when it gave me a task to prepare for winter, which was the final step of the tutorial, I think. So if you want control, you need to turn the tutorial off. Balls. That's kind of balls. So I need beds. Where am I going to start making bedrooms? Um... How about we mine to here, here, and we're going to go down to here. And bedrooms are going to be on that layer. So, as well, what I need to do is here. Do I just... just that for now, I think. Uh, and here, uh, build me in a this way direction. Something like that. There's a bedroom, there's a bedroom, there's a bedroom. Bedroom, bedroom, bedroom. Nope. Nope, fuck. I fucked that up. So this is the direction we're going. Or have I fucked that up? Yes, I have fucked that up. I fucked that up too. You know what? Bedrooms on this layer. We'll fix that last one for uh, later. Go that way. This is going to be the first bedroom there. Cause that way I can have road, road, road. All right, I fixed it. Got one spare bedroom. That's fine. Uh, 
What have we got here? Cobaltite. It's probably good. Uh, let's build right here a wood stockpile. Beautiful. Of course, you mine the roads first. There we go. Forgetting to leave room for the wall, I think, is the most common error in Dwarf Fortress. I've made it myself plenty dozens of times. Yeah, I, I, I can see that happening quite frequently. Alright, looks like um, you can mine in diagonals even when this is taken, so that's good to know. We're going to get our first bed. No, no, up here. Yes, mine up here. That's good. Good boy. This is going to be where our first bedroom is. So it was there. Then furniture and then a bed. Let's go. And I want you to make more beds. Three, four... Five, six. Resident Infinite is now enabled. Yo. Uh, not sure, Inspector. I think you might might be a bit wrong on what part it was screwing you at. Uh, but yeah, the rest of Infest is indeed enabled now. You can now creatures and items just as you can. Click on buildings to get more information about them. Click on the resident to see their needs, inventory, thoughts, relations, and more. Uh, you can also access information about the citizens button. Click on a citizen or creature. So we have here Fikut Grabanoil, the stone crafter. He's lauded mirrors. He's making a bed. Uh, he's 52 years old. He disdains fairness. Values power. Thrill seeker. Overcautious. Not envious. Uh, he's a little bit sickly. Sad, sad times. Sad times. He's a proficient stone crafter. Proficient metal crafter. Um... But he's my yeah, he's my stone crafter, but he's currently making beds. Okay. Are you making beds out of stone? Family's a true bond that keeps society thriving. He has clothing, uh his no health problems. It said he was a bit sickly though. He's a stout, sturdy creature, fond of drink and industry. He's slow to tire, but he's slow to heal and really susceptible to disease. He, oh, that's probably why he's sickly. Extremely long beard is arranged in double braids. His sideburns are clean shaven. His very long moustache is neatly combed. His short hair is neatly combed. His nose is sharply hooked. He has a high voice. His lips are thick. His somewhat narrow ears have large hanging lobes. His hair is mahogany. His skin is dark tan. His eyes are brass. That's cool. He's a good memory. Little willpower. Little linguistic ability. Very bad intuition. Poor creativity and a lousy intellect. Never fails to seek out the most stressful and even dangerous situations. Never acts without prolonged deliberation, even to his own detriment and the harm of those around him. Rarely jealous. He's not a private person and freely shares details of his life. Clearly. Very impolite and inconsiderate of propriety. Uh, he's very slow to anger. Generally quite confident of his abilities when undertaking specific adventures. He's occasionally overindulges. He's trusting, assertive, grateful when others help him out. And he tries to return favours. Greedy streak generally acts with a narrow focus on the current activity. He does not have a great aesthetic sensitivity and he's conflicted by this as he values artwork and its creation. Needs alcohol. Don't we all, mate? To get through the working day, he likes working outdoors and grumbles only mildly at inclement weather. The fact that all of this is simulated for fucking every single dwarf and every single creature. The personality of a stray water buffalo cow apparently is is just uh, that's wild. Fucking the remains of a toad. Co okay, okay. Is there any I'm looking for an animal that isn't one of mine. Is there a way to see like what's on the map? We've got the citizen information menu. Click 
could have sworn there was like a way to see. That's not what I wanted to do. Yeah, I don't know. The fact I got the minimap is kind of cool. I like that. Uh, I can't remember if Cobalt Tide can give anything. Knowing real geology helps a surprising amount in this game. I can imagine. Citizen information and others. There's a fucking Kiwi's cock around. Let's go. The personality of a, a, a random Kiwi cock. Dislikes receiving advice, don't you know? This random Kiwi, just on the map, up here somewhere. I can't even fucking see him. Is he in the trees or something? I don't know. Uh, it's a Kiwi, so I imagine probably not. Um, is is just, yeah. Uh, didn't like advice. Don't don't give don't don't give the full advice. How many bedrooms come along? Okay, you're mine in the second. Oh, that means that I can give work details. I can allow um you and you to mine. Stonecrafter can also mine. That's your understanding of most kiwis. To be fair, that is a, that's a good point. You do make a good point. There's a point there that you made. It's good. I feel like that can be a, a bit more stockpiley. Creature personality being exposed to the player is apparently a bug. Fair enough. It doesn't seem particularly normal. Can I rotate things? I wouldn't mind being able to rotate the bed. Uh, what's this? We've got opal. Nice. And you know your man's using sh keyboard shortcuts now. Let's go. BFB bed. Let's go. There we go. Loving it. Minimap looks really cool when your base is more developed. I can imagine. Definitely. Game, I know you have absolutely phenomenal music. Just f fucking play it. B, F, B, bed. Yes. B, F, B, bed. Yes. Loving it. Keyboard shortcuts all the way. Uh, we have Alunite. No idea what Alunite is, but we'll take some of that. No, we have no more beds. I'm pretty sure that's fine, though. But, yo, having all them beds is great. Yo, can you make doors now, actually? Doors. Oh, I really just want you to make a bunch of them. For now, just for the bedrooms. You can't rotate stuff in this unless it's a gate or machinery is their direction matters. Fair enough. Is this smooth, this wall smoothing? There we go. I want to smooth all of these bedrooms. Oh, you can't smooth clay. That's... Yeah.
Is this like a big job that I've just set them on and it's probably a bad idea for it to happen? Let's let's stop that. Um information sheets. You can click on creatures and items. I did that. Close the information sheets. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Um yeah, close you. Okay. Alerts. Important and sometimes urgent information is given as alerts on the left side of the screen. There have been several already. It's true. Hover over an alert icon to see the information. Left click an alert or recent recentering options and right click to dismiss the alert. The large red alert. It's an example urgent alert. They're very important. Ignore them at your peril. Cool. Okay. Dismiss it. Goodbye. Uh... Summer, don't care. Nothing to catch. Nope, okay. Uh, mining. An animal is going to become a stray gander and a stray goose. Okay. The echidna is fighting. Yo. What are you fighting, buddy? Right. Uh, the echidna rolls into a ball. What are you fighting? It's got no kills, at least, so I don't know. All right. So now I guess it's basically enjoy the game. No more. We don't need you to learn anything else. Okay. So um, let's make what is an ashery? You used to make lye, potash, and milk of the lime. Construction requires blocks, barrel, and a bucket. Grab some trade. Oh, preparing for the caravan. Here we go. You may need supplies before coming of winter. To trade with the autumn caravan, you must build a trade depot from the build menu. Uh, you must. You need something of value to trade. Crafts are an easy way to make a lot of trade goods quickly. Make the appropriate workshop in the workshop to craft. Okay, let's build that craft then. Make out of logs. Oh, goddamn. Um, obvious material to make the crafts off is rock. If you dig down enough layers, you'll find near infinite amount of boulders, various kinds, as well as some rough gems. If you're lucky, just gems can be cut in the jewels workshop. Encrustment crafts are other to add more value. Okay. Did I find any gems? I, I feel like this is a gem right here. Opals? Yeah. Okay, so we'll make jewelry as well. Got some hair, man. I have some. Um, and the trade depot. Oh, is fat. Trade depot is actually fat. Okay. So like a five by five. That should work out nicely. I think expanding that. Not a bad idea either. Uh, so we've made doors now as well, so if we want to furniture, where's my doors? Doors are not furniture, doors and hatches, there it is. R. So, uh, B, B, and then P, and then R. God damn, that is the... Wankest way to do things. All right. Uh, B P R. There. B P R. There. B P R. There. Or not. Tread Depot needs a three wide access. Oh, you've got to be joking! I don't have three wide.
That's just a, it's just a real, it's a real, it's a real shame that, isn't it? Uh, where am I gonna make my trade depot then? Can I still place them outside? I don't know. Just put it outside. You want your trade depot to have separate access anyway? Okie dokie. You could put it like here or something and go in there. Another workshop. Stone worker could work. Furnaces. Pottery. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So make a, a, a kiln. Oh, I bet I can't walk through that. Recommend to get a farm up and running soon and a still. Those dwarves really do need alcohol to get through the day. Alright, so how do we farm? Set plant gathering orders. Probably could be a good idea. Unless there's something in the building menu. Machines and fluids, constructions. Oh, they're farming. Farm plot. You need seeds or spawn and must select crops by the season. Crops can be fertilized with potash. So I need potash doodad. So is Richard deeper underground. So how deep are we talking here? Farms don't need sunlight. Indoors on soil. So, uh, do I need to just like start digging deep to try and find some soil? Sign a manager. How does man how does one manage? Is that an orderly? Is that what we're looking for? An orderly? Are there nobles and administrators? Manager. Make you the manager. So these are your needs. Needs a mega study. So how does one get you a mega study, I wonder? Top layers are soil. Like yeah, this this definitely looks like soil to me. Repair your entrance or a level up. Oh, that's a good idea. We could go up. We can have like farms up here. Manager will require a chair and table to be granted to them. Okay. This one 
cut the gems repeatedly. You craft dwarf rock. Make a fucking rock amulet, a rock pot. Uh, sure, make a large rock gem, I think. Rock crafts forever. What's that? A sign is active, okay. So, like, what? Just, like, put all of these in? Oh, make rock crafts. There it is. I think pots might be a useful idea as well. Make rock pots. And then you, you're making a table. You probably need to make a barrel. Yeah, make wooden barrel. This is still being constructed. Uh, this is going to be wider, except, and it's going to be custom. It's got wood. It's going to have gems. It's going to have finished goods. Probably just that for now. Stockpile here. Remove that stockpile. Right, I need to actually uh, delete these, didn't I? So here we wanted to build a farm. So what's the best way to farm? Oh, no one actually did this yet. You need mugs or dwarves get grumpy having to put their face in the beer barrel. That That's a fair point. That's a fair point. Can you make a mug? Oh, you need to collect clay infinitely then. Um... Glaze the stone craft requires fuel. I have none fuel. Uh, I need another building or few. Alright, so what we want is that thing that give me potash, right? Ashery. Ashery is useful for this, so I kind of want it to be here. I feel like that probably doesn't matter that much. I need to build the stairs up towards the farms. Right. I didn't realize that mattered. Ashery goes there. Needs blocks. What does an Ashery need? Construction requires blocks, a barrel, and a bucket. We don't have the barrel or the bucket. Oh, we got a barrel there. Uh, make bucket infinitely.
Yo, we've we've cut the gems and shit. That's good. You dug stairs, but you already dug out an area. You need to build them instead. Oh, okay. I did not realize that I had done that. Did I? I don't. Oh, it's because here is already dug out. Okay. So how do you build stairs? Is it build a construction stairs? Constructions, stairs. And then we go up here. No, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Yeah, I can't. I feel like I have to do that. Is that gonna work now? I'm watching you figure this out because I haven't successfully done it yet with my new interface. Fuck, that's fun. That's great. That's great news. That currently doesn't work. Oh, fantastic. Man cannot go up. Great, great, fun. I cannot build the ashery. Make at a workshop first. The blocks. Oh, wait, I don't have blocks. So do I have like a stone cutter? Stone worker. Uh, that could be made out of a microcline. Man cannot currently not go up in rocks. That's just facts though. Rock. New task. Make rock block. Infinitely. Can okay, now I do this? If I can use close material, I don't actually care what the material is. There we go. Does it work if you just build stairs without changing level? No, I tried that as well. No. It's a good idea to make blocks as a stone boulder can make four sets of blocks and they're much lighter to carry around. Yeah, we'll, we'll we'll block the yeah we'll make rock block all the time. Full time rock block. So yeah, you require fuel. I currently do not have fuel. I am imagining that wood is not enough. Um, I feel like I need to start like doing something about this this um, food situation. Like I don't know how much food I've got. Can I see like an inventory kind of thing? Objects menu. What is the current situation of my food? I have no clue. Oh, migrants have arrived. Yo. Did I get new people? Yo, I got an extra dude. Let's go. Uh, 
Uh, that means I need a new bed. And a new door. Also, uh, I need furniture. A chair and a table is what your man wanted, right? Where does he want to sleep? Do you want to do you want to have him sleep in this one? Sure. And you can have a a chair as well. Right there. What if you dig upstairs next to the downstairs and then dig downstairs from above? Yeah, no, I I felt I I thought of that like digging in from up here. I'm not sure it's the wisest idea. But yo, have a look at this. Turquoise and zircon right about here. I'm kind of tempted to just uh, go and mine those things. Just straight up out of the side of the wall. I mean, for food, what we could do is just be like, yo, just go and uh, collect that food for me. Migrants are streaming over time. Depending on their jobs, they may bring in free tools as well. Nice. So, we have now got the ashtray. Uh, let's make... So, make potash from ash. Potash from lye. Make lye. Make milk of lime. I don't know what I need. But your, uh, what's it called? The pottery man, kiln, required fuel. Also, we haven't collected clay yet. So we need to do that. Yeah, um. Fuel, I imagine, is like coal. I need to go find coal. What did I need the ashery for? I've, I'm completely forgetting now. We'll make potash from ash, I guess. Probably need a cloth, uh, leather, doodad. Some more workshops. Uh, bum, 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 bum. Uh, another furnace, maybe. Wood furnace. Makes charcoal and ash from wood here. That works. Build you there. Stone worker, we have. Pressing liquids from various sources. Metal smith. Might as well. You can create the multi option. Sorry, I don't. You should create a separate room for the office. You also need to actually make the rooms into rooms with the zone tool. The easiest way is to have the room already furnished, closed off with a door. Right, we had. We have a, four of them closed off with a door right now. So here is a zone. Do I include the door or not? Who knows? Apparently not. That's a stockpile, not a zone. Let's just delete that right now. Zones. There we go. Zones are areas you designate where your citizens will work, socialize, rest, or perform specific duties. Several kinds of zones, which you can see in the panel on the left. Zones are placed much like stockpiles. Unlike stockpiles, multiple zones can overlap. Certain zones, like bedrooms, can be placed several at a time. Just make sure you have the correct furniture placed in the rooms with doors or vertical entries separating each room before you begin. Okay. So this here. All right. Uh, uh, bedroom. With a door. Alright, just gonna do them for now. Except. 
And then he said, um, a separate room for the office. That can be a separate room then. Unless maybe we'll make somewhere else. Like here. Yo. <laughs> Man made a crown. Let's go. We have a lot of wood. The office can be turned like yours is one by two. I would do that, but I'm I like the aesthetics. Yo, can someone come and dig this fucking room? Oh there we go. Uh that means I need like another door. Just make me two more doors actually. Game just closed there for a second. No idea why. I think you just made one bedroom in four locations. That's what I mean with confusing. Oh, did I? Really? Okay. Remove the zone. Let's try that again. Bedroom. One. Fuck. One bedroom. Except. Bedroom. One bedroom. Except. Bedroom, one bedroom, except bed, bedroom, one bedroom. Why did the bed move? And then this new place can be an office. He's almost done. So, can I move this? Remove this building. Furniture. Doors and hatches. Door. Doors and hatches. Door. God, I wish I could hold shift and keep that thing open. I ran out of doors. Fella. Fella, my fella. Oh, he's already making more doors. Okay. <clears throat> you make charcoal. Infinitely. You... Oh, I don't know. Bars? Is that not a thing? Iron craft's probably a bad idea. Now we'll leave that one. If you keep building after placement, it stays open. Oh, really? Ah, oh, that's what that means. Alright, cool. Right, so what we want is furniture, table, furniture, chair. Yo, you want to make me a bookcase as well? It's probably a good idea, right? Bookcase. What else do you need to do in an office? Um, cabinet, probably. I feel like they all want chests, right? I feel like I remember from watching that um, dwarves really like chests. Thank you. 
Yo, all right, so this is an office. What are you in here for? Right, can I set this bedroom to somebody's? That's just bed, okay. Um, zones. This zone is for you. Here is for the same guy. We, we is that good? Is that we is we good? Is we good? So your man now has an office. I don't have any chests yet, fuck. Okay. Um what do we have? We have the cabinet yet? Nope. How do how do we how do we manage now? Also, do we have another bed yet? Yes. Oh, he's managing! He's managing! No, he's eating. He's actually eating. Check the work orders tab on the workshop. Work orders. Yo! Nice. Uh, what I wanted was chests. Make ten chests? Oh, let's go. Then you can get rid of that one. Oh, that's beautiful, actually. You know, work orders. I want a new work order. I want some doors, my dude. I want doors. Give me ten doors. Number. Make me... Freaking 20 doors. What's this button? Work orders used to automate tasks in workshops. These work orders are set to complete a certain number of tasks. And given certain conditions, for instance, you can create an order to make wooden bins if you're running out of empty ones, to brew drinks if you're running low, or to make five statues every month. You limit the work orders to number of workshops. You can also create work orders at specific workshops from their building sheet. The system is reasonably powerful, and you can eventually automate almost all of your production if you wish. Dope. I love make three chests if stockpile has less than five, so you never think about them again. Alright, let's try and do that then. Chests. I want... Conditions for chest. If the amount of empty boxes is less than... Five, then build some. No, empty boxes. It's, I don't care about empty boxes. I care about wooden chests. Right. Work order. Wooden chest. Change the doodads. Is boxes the same thing then? Or just amount of boxes? Chester type of box and non-empty ones means ones being used. So, yeah, I do want empty chests. If the empty chest is less than five, then create... Where the... Oh, there it is. Then create... Three? 
So if there's less than five, make three. Is that what we're looking at here? Is that, have I got that right? God damn, this game is so fucking complicated. So we could probably do the same here, right? If we've got less than 10 doors, make me fucking 10 doors. So the maximum I ever have is like 19 doors. Alright, alright, cool, cool. I like that. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Uh, and we can honestly get rid of both of these as well then and work on work orders. So, you know what? I like the idea of having barrels. You know, uh, barrels are probably decently important. So if I ever have less than 10, make me 10. Yeah, okay. Um... Oh shit, I don't want to go straight back in here. Um... And buckets, if I ever have less than 10 make 10 again yeah i like that and yes farming 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 that is next plan where should i build my farm then should i just dig down here just to try and grab some of it get in get in here Barrels are probably the most important item in game called beer and food. Should I make make more of these then? If I've ever got less than 20, build 20. Actually, if I've got less than 20, build 10, it's fine. We can change it later. Right, so yeah, we need to we need to do that. You should have been up too, so I could have path further, but it's fine, it's fine. Where should I farm? Don't create more entrances to your fort. I wasn't, yeah, yeah up here I was saying I should have. Um, should I, like, I've still got clay here, so should I try and build the farm, like, here? Like, going up this way. We probably get some water in this route if we need to. Is that like a... Should I make a farm just looking like that? Like how, how does one lay out a farm? Pause it so I can see. Um, oh, I got more migrants again. No, I've still got only eight people. Yo, what's that? Hey, it's a frog. Did I, did I end up building the chest? I'm just going to, um, while I'm waiting for answers, two questions. I'm going to pop the chest. Oh, you didn't even build the chest yet, you bloody useless pillock. You do have the chests. Yeah, you can make wooden chests. Come on. Let's go. You're currently making doors, though, I guess. I have plant gathering orders, but let's have a look in. Where do I see plant stuff?
Is it a workshop farming? Okay, okay. And then farm plots. Tightly the corner. Okay, so it's like... It is... It needs soil on mud. Okay, so this, this works for it. So going up here was a good idea. Uh, you have several types of crops, so something along the lines of four, five by five should be good to go for now. All right. And it looks like this is all it's looking good so far. It's all clay. It's all clay so far. So that is all mud. Yo, let's go. Are we gonna get the full the full shebang with nothing in the way? Oh, oh, now that's just beautiful. That's just beautiful. All right, let's try this then. Workshops, farming, farm plot. That's a corner, and then there. That's a six by six. Fuck it, six by six is fine. I'll do a four. Four by six is twenty-four. You said. Uh, 5 by 5 which is 25 so that's fine there's one and should I have like a walking path below or is it fine to walk on plants and do I need to leave a space between or not it's another question. Or is it probably a zone, right? Hmm. Well, if the farm would be in there, you would plant it all. So is that two different farm plots now, I wonder? I don't know. I feel like it's all one farm plot now. Okay, it was actually done properly. Also, I did a five by six, didn't I? Yeah, I did a five by six. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna remove these buildings in a second. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna do it properly. I'm gonna do it properly. It's not it's not aesthetics. It's it's just to do it properly, and I counted wrong. Farming, farm plot. There's one. There's two. There's three. And I need to dig out more. And then we'll get the fourth one there. Come on, clay all the way, clay all the way. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Let's go. Oh, look at that. And then it turns to andesite. Nailed it. All right, workshops, farming, farm plot, 45. There. Did we already form Byzantium? Yes, this is Puzzle Posts, a outpost of Byzantium. So this, cave wheat. This one, dimple cups. This one, pigtails. Then this one can be plump helmets. I know plump helmets. Plump helmets is always the thing in these games. Plump helmets. F 
fertilize every season. Probably. Wait, I don't have the seeds for most of... I have seeds for that, seeds for that, seeds for that. Do I have plump helmet seeds? Get some space for workshops and stuff nearby. That's a good idea. Probably some walking space might have been a good idea. Did I check all the seasons? Nah, no, fam. Um... Oh, summer now. Okay. So spring, we got Dimple Cups, Plum Helmets, Quarry Push, Sweet Pods. Summer there. In the autumn, we can do those. In the winter, we can do Dimple Cups and Plump Helmets. Oh, so Plump Helmets are just the fucking tits, because they can be uh, grown anytime. Um, so yeah, let's have a look at the farming buildings and what size and shit they are. So the still is a 3 p 3 The... Not butcher da, 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 kitchen or oh, the farmer. There we go. Is also three p three. The what's a quern? Sugar flour and various useful slurries here. All right. So I think I need like three buildings, maybe. my work. We'll see. Um, so I'm going oh, to... Yeah. Store, storage can be in the, underneath, maybe. We'll, like, store all the plant stuff here. Yeah. And then... I'll have... Like that. And that can be one building, that can be another building, and I guess that can also be storage. Yeah, like that. Oh shit, there's my food. Okay, I didn't even realize that was up there. Still some wood on my cart. Or is there... No, is this what it's made out of? Maybe. No idea. Oh, this one I've set to leave fallow. What? No, no, cave wheat, mate. What did I f did I fuck up somehow? I don't know understand how I fucked up. It's poor soil, cavern soil is best. Yeah, well, I don't have that. If you want that more accurate, you need a bookkeeper. The season changed. So it did. P 
Pigtails are a good crop as they can be brewed and also turned into thread for clothing later on. Oh, cool. Yeah, so we got cave wheat, but we got no seeds. Fuck. Alright, we'll do that then. Wait, there's cave wheat seeds here. I didn't have enough seeds then, I think. So I had seeds of a bunch of different types. I guess just I didn't have enough. I guess we plant what we can and then it'll come back later? I don't know. Plum helmets, you're a classic food and alcohol crop. Definitely worth having some growing if you don't already. Yeah, I got I got this one on the end doing plump helmets. Although it's a grim reminder of the winter hardships to come, the supply caravan from the coincidental torches of soaking is a welcome sight. Their eyes are alight with anticipation of inspecting splendid products of your industrious craft dwarves. Take careful stock of your own stores. What these merchants offer might very well be the difference between a prosperous future and a slow and meaningless death. All right, okay. So what, we have... Not you. Go away, you. Don't care about that one. Don't care about that one. Yo! Your man, hello. Outpost liaison attending meeting. Follow this man. He comes from above the mountains. Hello, sir. You, you've invaded the bedroom of my man. He is currently asleep. You are not attending a meeting. You are annoying a sleeping person. This is... I, I'm not going to lie, my dude. Um, what you've done here is... Not cool. Alright, I need a broker then. So how do I assign a broker? Here. Who makes good brokerages? You're an adequate negotiator, adequate persuader, novice liar, adequate conversationalist... No, it's Intimidator. Okay, so I guess you're just like the 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 best one for it. Yeah, let's, let's do you then. I guess you could be my record keeper. Oh, that means you need shit. No, no, no. Okay, if you need shit, then fuck that. I can't. I don't know how to change that. I guess what we could do is give you this bedroom, and you can also have an office. Eventually. So how do I? How does one? How does one trade? Broker can access it, but he's asleep. Move goods to or from depot. There we go. So what we want is I'll I'll sell that and I'll sell that, of course. It's crafts. It's crafts that I want. There's no way of just like, I want to sell crafts. Chains? No, I keep... Rope is good. Cloth's probably good. Oh, you can have that. Crutches? We don't need crutches. We're fine. You can have the figurines. Rings, sure. Scepters. Okay, move that over there. Oh, there we go. Oh, look at that. Beauty. Oh, 
Oh, we got diplomacy. The expedition leader meets with the outpost liaison. I'm your liaison from the mountain homes. Let's discuss your situation. There's much to share. Make request for next year's caravan. Alright, so what do I need for next year's caravan? What should we ask for? Seeds? Probably looking for seeds. You know? Seeds, booze, and food. Be nice if it was just a way to like, I just bring me, just bring food, eagle meat, sure, yeah, I, um, wolverine meat, sure. Coyote mate, sure, whatever. That's fine. Um, drinks. Ale, beer, sure. Veggies. Alright, cool. Uh, add a few pickaxes. Tools. Uh, wasn't there something called digging implements? Yeah, there it is. Uh, anything else? Um, fucking yeah, it's, it's horse cheese, dwarven cheese. Man, dwarven fucking cheese. Maybe an anvil. All right. All right. So you're done on that. Yo, look at the prices, though. What the fuck? Them's expensive. Expensive. Well, let's discuss what we're willing to offer for your craft dwarfship. Uh, a need for footwear and quivers is expected. And if you're able to provide some, the caravan will offer 210 and 209 percent, respectively. Uh, export requirement agreement only applies to trades next year, not with any merchants currently present. Okay, so they want me to make footwear and quivers. All right. I'll wait in three items. So, who makes quivers? It's probably not the carpenter, let's be honest. But we'll have a look. Because you never know. No, okay. It's probably a leather. Is it a craft? Is it a craft? No. Maybe a clothing and leather thing. So anyway, there's leather. Yo, you're four? No shot. Oh no, you're not. Okay. You just looked fucking fat. All right. What? What? Broker man, broker man, come on, buddy. Where's Ushir? Is he still asleep? He's not asleep. Where is he? There he is. No, you're not. You're logum. Where is he? Where is the bastard? Creatures. Where are you? Uh, zoomed. Stop! 
digging, motherfucker. You need to do the trading. How can I make trading your, like, biggest fucking passion in life? Um... Standing orders? No. Orderlies? I don't know what an orderly does. Uh, I need to hit request broker at depot. Oh, there. There, there. Okay, 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 okay. Alright, trade me, motherfucker. There he is, there he is! Let's go, we can trade! Ah, let's go. Alright. <clears throat> so this is my shit. We selling all my shit. We selling all of that. Hundred and set not nearly as much as I thought it was gonna be. Um So 170, but yellow diamonds a thousand, cool, alright. So what do we want from you? Ale. Horse milk. Sure, sure, sure. We're already up to fucking 80. Oh, fam. This is worth fuck all. Yo. Sweet pod seeds. Let's go. I, I don't have enough. Can I not have, like, some? Not all? Yo, your anvils are fucking expensive, too. Wait, oh, he wants to make a fucking profit, so I can't even do just, like, flat fuck all. Even with your combined trade goods, such as that, I can't fathom you ending up with the items you desire. Son of a... Uh, how much do you want profit? Your man's gonna take me to the cleaners. Alright, I'll take away some milk. Alright, cool. Fuck me. Like I've got I've got some fucking great shit here. Like like opals for a grand each. Oh, quiver that's next year. Next year. Yeah, but my crafts were just shite, really. Crafts, yo, just like craft, crafts, all of the crafts. Can you make crafts? Wooden crafts? No, okay. I still need to set a collection point for clay. Where do I want to collect clay from? So I'm worried that it's going to actually like just take it out of 
I mean, if I do that, is that fine? Just collect the clay from here. We'll, we'll get a new floor eventually. You're making charcoal. Uh, I feel like a work order here for charcoal instead. Charcoal's probably important. So when I have less than 10, make 10. But 20 and 20, I think, is a bit more reasonable. Here, don't know. You're making rock blocks. It's probably fine to just do infinitely. What else can you do? Stuff. The ashery. Wait, what? Lie? Isn't that needed for, like, farming stuff? Speaking of farming stuff, I need... Workshops, farming. I need a... Still here. And I need... A farmer there. Someone build this. Someone, someone do this part. This part needs doing. Please. Son of a bitch. Can I improve the priority of that part? Brew, drink from plant infinitely, I think, right? Is that what I need to do? I don't know. I don't know. Make extract from plants. Sure. That's probably no. Actually, you know what? Actually, no, no, no. Because then I'm going to run out of the fucking plants. Extract from plants gives me seeds. Right? And I always want to have enough seeds to plant my farm. So we need a work order for this. Extract from plants. Um, so, if I have... Fuck me, I don't know. Brewing also gives you seeds. Oh, okay. What does extract from plants do then? So if I have less than fucking, say, 20... Five seeds... Then extract ten seeds. Maybe I only got ten fucking seeds. And then do I, so? I, do I just want to like fucking brew infinitely then? Cooking doesn't in the big menu at the bottom left. There is a kitchen tab. You need to forbid cooking with crops. In the big menu at the bottom left, there's a kitchen tab. Labor kitchen. I don't see what you see here. Is it in the work orders thing? Labor. Oh, 
Oh shit, I saw it, I saw it, I saw it, I saw it. Um... Oh, there we go. Permission, is that to cook? Yeah, that's restricted from cooking with plump helmets. Is that it? Because I don't plant the rest of them. I think that's just that, isn't it? Or is it just... Because that, that is my only crop, right? The rest of them aren't crops. Okay. Your man's still here. Or is this the stuff that I've bought, actually, I think? Or is it... Maybe. I don't know. No, that's the stuff that he's got. So he's still here. I could, If I had more shit to sell, I could go and sell it. So yeah, jewelry lady. Jewelry lady, excuse me. Right? Why aren't you making jewelry? Who is it that made jewellery? Yeah, you can. Make pearl crafts. I don't think I have much pearls. Can you make like a rock? Hmm. Rock. I can make rock amulets and rock crowns and rock earrings and shit. Like in fairness, I'll, I kind of just want to say make jewelry. And I couldn't give a fuck what you make it with. And I'll make a rock amulet, see what happens. I want to see how much it's worth. Also, you probably should make um, a work order for making a wheelbarrow to have if I've got less than Four, then I want you to make five. That should work, maybe. Do I want to add doors here? I think I do. Ran out of fucking doors, but sure. Man's gonna make some more, I think.
Well, the jeweler actually did her thing. So, Cinnabar Amulet is worth 20. Wow. That's kind of worthless. Thank you, darling. Alright, but we have now the dyer's shop. So, what you can do is you can dye cloth. Sure. Do that infinitely. Clothiers. Um... It's the leather man, isn't it, that wants quivers. Make leather quivers. And honestly, if he's going to be making, like, big fuck tons out of this, make all of them. And also, uh, boots. There's low boots and high boots. Sure, make them both. Uh, but what else can you do? Armor and backpacks. Oh, backpacks will be freaking handy, actually. Probably. Let's give you a work order. Give me backpacks. Just make ten of them. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, we got here the loom. Uh, collect webs? Is that a thing? Fuck it, why not? You could probably... Can you weave web into cloth? What can you do with web? Hey, Flopsy. Did the devs change anything regarding the micromanaging regarding dwarves in the Steam version or the original version? Meh. I have no idea. I really don't know. I haven't got a clue. Um, so I want to, like, weave thread in a cloth. Probably. I don't think silk's necessary just yet. Yarn in a cloth, sure, maybe. And then the clothier's shop with cloth. Maybe work orders here. Uh, cloaks... Did that not work? Cloaks, there it is, okay. Coats, sure. Um, fucking trousers. Uh, what else? What else do we want from you? Cloth hoods. Cloaks, coats, trousers, hoods. Fucking rope? Cloth rope? Nah. Shoes! Your man still wanted shoes, didn't he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, leather, low boots. What else do we want here? Thing is, we don't really have any leather. Like, how are we going to get leather? Obviously, we need to kill things for it, but... There's not really much to kill. Oh, we can check my farm, actually. So I need... Workshop farmer... Farmer... Sierra Brew and Drink from Plant. Here we go. What crops do I currently grow? A bunch of stuff. This is a... St this was a stockpile. This is a stockpile there. Uh, did I just do it again? Fuck me. Click the accept button. All right. And at the moment, there's nothing in there. I want th food. Just food, actually. Yeah. Not where I want to go. Oh, I 
really want to dig up. Oh, you've got your doodad there. So you can have a door. Oh, we've run out of doors, really. Your man needs to build me another door. Yeah, we've got build build the doors. Why isn't this a thing? If you want doors less than ten, make ten. Satisfy for next check. This is clearly not right. Because I, my dude, would like a motherfucking door. Oh, I do. Wait, no, I, I have no doors. Why do I not have any doors? I have no doors. So this is just wrong. There's actually there's already a task there, so maybe I just need to wait for him to go get it. Yeah, none, and it wants me to have twenty. Wait, none. Is that like there's twenty in the place? If I zoom to this cherry wood door, oh, it's actually yeah, it's showing me that I have doors. Okay. Uh, yeah. So what crops do I currently grow? We grow. Cave wheat, cave wheat, dimple cups, pigtails, and plump helmets. This construction needs to be done, though, please. So, if I actually I want to look in custom, uh, does this include seeds? Yes, yes it does, okay. Nice, this being built now. So, add new task. What we want in the farmer's workshop is to process plants. What's the difference between process plants and process plants barrel and process plants vial? Also, shear animal just basically always wants to be done, right? Milk animals as well. Make cheese, sure. When we have milk, we make cheese. Actually, no, we, we don't want all of our milk to turn into cheese. So we want a work order. For making cheese. If we have less than 10 cheese, we make 10 cheese. Yep. Um, but yeah, we want processed plants. Is it processed plants or processed plants barrel? Like, does it process plants? Put it in barrels? Maybe we just add both of them? If we have unrotten processable plants... Processed to all of the plants? I, I, I guess? I, I don't know. I don't know what it means! And then process plants barrel? I don't know. Process plant to bag? Motherfucker, I have no fucking clue. If the amount of seeds is less than 10, bag the plants? I, why? I'm so confused. I'm so confused. Fucking just, do, I would just do the same and then wait for somebody to tell me that I'm wrong and then fix it then. That seems reasonable. Yeah, so you need tanned hide. Do we not? We don't have a tannery then, do we? How does one tannery?
Like, does the leather thing have a tan? So leather image probably isn't it. How do you tan your leather? How does one tan leather? After harvesting plants like the pigtail, first process them at the farmer's workshop, then weave cloth at the loom, then make clothing at the clothier. Skins can be obtained by butchering livestock at the butcher shop. Shin skins are tanned at the tanner's shop. Where's the tanner's shop? I didn't fucking see it. Is it a machine? How does this? Oh my god, there's so much. Is it a construction? Probably not construction. Certainly not a cage or a trap or a door or a furniture. It's a workshop. There's no scroll bar. It should be here. It's found on the farming. Tanner, let's go. So what does a tanner need? Also needs a butcher. Butcher shouldn't be inside. It creates miasma and makes people sick. Okay. And did I ever get my fucking doors? Nope. No idea. That's probably good enough. Your man's still here with his shit. I wonder, have we got enough money? You know, a broker request. Let's let's go. Come here, come here, bitch. I need you. Your man's got a hood. Let's go. Um, oh, shit. I didn't... No. A broker not requested. Right. Move goods there, though. All of that. Andesite amulets. Cinnabamas. Microsoft. Yeah. All of that. Um, what else can I sell? Chains? No. 
Do I just sell one of my opals? I have a figurine I can sell as well. Earrings I can sell. I think these are all pretty shit. Rings. Rough gems, no. Quivers, that's next year. Weapons, we probably should keep the weapons. Oh shit, I've still got scepters as well. Can't get rid of them fucking things. Alright, broker, let's go. I want to sell all this shit again. Oh, we're making fat stacks. Look at that. Let's go. All right. From you, good sir. I require leather. Bin. Bins of cloth. Of oh, cloth. Cloth. Leather, let's go. Leather bin for 100. Yeah, alright. 10 items, probably all leather. Oh, leather, that's all of that, okay. So I've got all of your leather now. Kinda could take the an anvil. That's two hundred out of three twenty. Like how much am I? A hundred profits, probably good for him, right? Plants. I'm gonna just take your plump helmets. Forty, right? Will you accept forty profit? No. There we go. There we go. Man's got himself leather. Did you already make those quivers? Because, like... Didn't I add a quiver thing for you? No, I've only got three. I guess I just wanted you to make a leather backpack. Yes, apparently. Where's the quiver? Why are you walking slow? What's wrong with you? You sickly. Oh, you're hauling microcline. Yeah, no, that's fine. Oh, look at your man. With the yellow hood on. Let's go. Where are you bringing this horse, buddy? Where's where, is, where are you where are you bringing that horse? Oh, you're going to milk it. Okay, okay, okay. Yo, let's go. The first. What is this? Plum helmets. Let's go. It's probably not the first, but whatever. And this is a barrel of food. Let's go. All right. Drink. 200 drink. 50 food. No one needs food. Food's irrelevant. We got 200 drink. Uh, right. And I need to make you a door. Do I have any doors yet? Do I have any chests yet, actually? Nope. 
Oh yes, yes I do. Uh, closest material uh, is fine. Bump, ba bump, bump, ba dump, ba dump, bump, dump. I ran out of chests. What about doors? Yeah, let's go. And then I ran out of doors again. Cool, cool. Man's already made a crown. I got a population of nine, and I've only got eight beds so far. Hey, Eric. How goes striking the earth? Um, pff, I'm shit, but, you know, it's, it's... I'm... Yeah, I'm enjoying it. Make me a, a few more bedrooms. Right, and I want like a desk as well. Do I have a desk? Do I have a table and desk? Nope. Do I have an order for a table and desk? I could make it even out of stone, actually. Um, table. Mm, where's chair? Can I make chair at one? Son of a... Make a chair there. Important you have made sure your kitchen isn't cooking all your plump helmets. Yes, I have made sure. Um, my kitchen doesn't exist, for one. I don't actually have a kitchen yet. Um, well, it's not... Wait, is there like a kitchen kitchen? Yeah, I don't think I've actually built a kitchen, so I need to make somewhere to eat. So, maybe we mine out here. Maybe, like, this can be the kitchen. This can be the kitchen. This can be the storage for the kitchen. And this can be the dining room. Sure, that probably works fine. That means I'm going to need a lot of tables and chairs, actually. Make wooden chairs. I'd love to be able to, like, what's this? Oh, yeah, I need uh, tw 20. No. If I make 10 every time I have less than 10, that works. And then Stone Man. Uh, we'll have a work order for tables. Ten whenever I have less than ten. You'll need about four tables. Really? I mean, it, it, the, the fortress is going to get real big, though, right? Eventually.
Also, I think I do want to start, like, smoothing out the bedrooms. What is this made out of? Cobaltite, apparently. Oh, it's already smooth. It's already smooth. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Okay. Okay, that works. And mugs. Someone said I need to make a shit ton of mugs as well. Is that a stone thing? Uh, what's it called? What would it be called? Would it be a craft? Jugs and mugs, there it is. Cups are made. Oh, and yeah, cups. Mugs, jugs, and cups. There we go. Make the bedrooms nice. So constructions, floor. Building present? What the fuck building is present? I just want to make a fucking floor. Can I only build it on the clay? Oh, I can't- I have to move the fucking table? I can't, like... Uh, that's so irritating. It's really only this one that's... in the way, though, honestly. That's annoying. Um, okay, then. <sighs> Alright, those are out of the way now, so... Constructions, floor, there. 
Oh, apparently there's a bloody chest has not been removed yet. There's already a floor, why would you rebuild it? Because it's fucking clay, isn't it? It's, it's bad floor. Alright, now I can make it. Shale. Flawless plan, really. Between first and second layers, if you can fit it. Oh, this layer is good for temporary living space, but you want to make a heart of your fortress in the stone layers above the first cavern. Bugger knows where that is going to be. I have no idea. So, furniture, bed goes back there. And furniture chest goes back there. And furniture table there. And furniture chair. Have no chairs. All right. Oh, and actually, I need another chest. Here. I have no more chests. All right, cool. Is this a good idea? No idea. It's gonna look terrible. Probably. Alright, the trade is buggered off now as well. Is there no way, like, you know how this barrel has got shit tons of stuff in it? It's its own, like, mini stockpile. Can I do the same with this charcoal? Like, I want to, like, put 20 charcoal in a fucking barrel or a bin or something and have it done like that. She wasn't even in there and she was doing those. Yes? I need bins. Yo. Make me bins. Can I make bins out of something else? Because you've general work order is allowed. So, oh, there we go. I can actually just make make that bigger. Make bins, yo. If I have less than ten bins, make ten bins. I have already got less than ten bins. Man's got bins. I need milk of blind containing item. What? Oh, that's for parchment. I mean, tanner hide. I don't have any unrotten tannables, but I should be allowed to just like set that to always go. Why are you sad? You said you were sad. Thoughts. You're satisfied. You're euphoric. Is it the top that's... Is it the top or the bottom? Your mood's going down. Satisfied at work. Oh, bored after leading an unexciting life for so long. I don't know, Mr. Fucking... Lauded mirrors, I think you're doing alright.
Unmet need, all of this. Oh god. <laughs> Man's got lots of unmet needs. It's fine. Soon we'll have uh, this eventually, apparently. Oh, and this is done. Add new task. Oh, catch live land animals. Yeah. Just catch all of the bullshit. And I think I might need to do a zone for that, right? No idea. This game confuses the shit out of me sometimes. Yeah, I wouldn't mind having these all in a bin. Pen pasture to keep the animals. Yeah, but they're all just staying around here anyway, so I mean, I don't really see the point, but... Sure, they can be here, I guess. I guess that didn't work. Oh, it did. All of them. Yo, this man's hairy. Oh, he's two years old. How hairy are you at two years old? Holy shit. Satisfied at work. You're two. You're literally two. That is the hairiest dwarf I've ever seen. Also, I got a population of 15. I've still not got enough rooms. Did I, like, run out of pickaxes or something? Digging implements. What's it called? No. Tools. Did I run out of pickaxes? Because if I did, I'm kind of fucked, no? I think I ran out of pickaxes. Picks are weapons. Did that work? I mean, the tasks are gone now. So I would assume that worked. I've got three copper picks. Okay, so where are they? You've got one. What are you doing? You're just smooth and shit. Quit smoothing. I know I set them to smooth, but like, yeah, whatever. Things don't break unless lava. That's fair.
Your miners are probably doing other tasks. Yeah, I think they're all just like smoothing things. Because smoothing is apparently way more important than mining. But it's probably fine. Other than clothes, clothes degrade. Gotcha. Alright, but most of the smoothing has been completed now. Hey, plump helmet's just been uh, grown. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, so, can we start mining again? Why, why no mining? Why no mining going on? Oh, because they're all mining here. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Alright, so what we want is... Workshop, farming, kitchen goes there. I don't know, Cinnabar kitchen or some shit, who cares? Um, and it wants a door. Apparently still don't have enough doors. Right, we're going to designate this area here as meeting area except and dining hall All right and then i need to start making furniture table Made it slightly too big, but whatever. And then chairs. How do I not have fucking chairs? Work orders. Give me bloody chairs. Just make me like ten chairs or something. Or make me make me more than that. Let me 20 fucking chairs. Unless I have no wood. Oh, I probably have no wood. People do be meeting each other. It's beautiful. Masterpiece andesite ring. Let's go. Fuck knows I'm going to be able to find it. Superior. Just regular ass andesite ring. Exceptional cobalt type ring. I don't know, somebody's probably wearing it, the bastards. Um, and this, I want it to be like a stockpile for food, right? Hmm. 
or like custom, it's like food but not seeds. Food but not seeds, all right. Oh boy. I don't have a water source. There's water here, guys. Gather water, water source. There it is. Is it frozen over? Oh, it has already frozen over. Ha, ha. Whoopsie. Hmm. Yeah, whoops. Alright, well, I'm gonna call it here for today. I will be playing more Dwarf Fortress. I will be also watching some tutorials for Dwarf Fortress. Um, but right now, I, I need to end the stream now. So I want to thank you all very much for watching. Uh, this has been uh, Le Limite. Puzzle Posts, the outpost my first fortress in Dwarf Fortress. And it's going It's just it's just going. It is it's on it's just going. Uh but yeah, hopefully it will start going better. So thank you all very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed today's uh stream and I will uh I will see you in the near future for another stream of something. I'm not sure what the next stream will be, but uh you know, if you wanna find out, subscribe, bell button, all that good shit. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Uh, good night. Let me let me save. Let me save to the shore. Whatever. All right. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys. Bye, bye.